Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and today I'm going to show you my haul from this past weekend. Now, just like the last few weeks, I've only had an opportunity to go out one day. I went out on a Friday, but I still did really, really well, um, and I got a ton of good stuff to show you. Now, for those of you who were upset that I wasn't showing enough scrap, I will show you the scrap today. You will certainly get your scrap fix. And don't worry, for those of you who like coins, you'll see a little sneak peek. I got a ton of coins. Uh, I got a lot of stuff, so I'm going to break it up into two videos. Uh, I'm going to do the scrap and uh, jewelry and other uh, interesting items in this video, and I'll do the coins in the next video. Now, I'll just get right into it because uh, I've got a lot to show you. So the first thing I went, I went to this one estate sale, and it turns out that the people running it, it was their first time running an estate sale, and they're a new company, and aside from being in touch with them now, um, I got a lot of really good stuff. So I went in, and I see on the table there are these three and actually this one as well, these four pieces of silverware. And I see they're labeled seven, seven, and five dollars a piece, and then this one's not labeled at all. So the first thing I asked was about this one. I said, how much is this? And she says, well, it's actually, uh, I'm not sure if it's sterling or not, so three bucks? I said, sure, you got yourself a deal. I said, you know, I just wanted to get in there, start it. I wasn't sure if it was sterling either, to be honest. Uh, I didn't recognize any of the markings, but for three bucks I figured I'd take a chance. You can see over here, it's got a lot of stuff on the back. Now, I'll tell you already, it's not sterling. I was wrong. But, I asked them then, once I got the ball rolling and saying I was going to buy stuff, I said, how about these? You got seven, seven, and five. What about giving me them all for 15? And immediately she said yes. So I was really happy about that. So I said 15 plus three, so 18 total for the four of them. And I was really, really excited. You know, these are sterling. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. I've tested them. And uh, this one's a sterling. And it uh, is a Oregon. Sorry, it's upside down. But the Harbor, Portland. It says Oregon. You know, it's like a souvenir spoon. This one's just a regular spoon. And this one's also a Portland spoon. And, of course, this one is sterling as well. It's upside down, but uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can handle that. Anyway, after I bought all that stuff, I, or I set it off to the side to buy, I saw this pen. And I see it says Waterman on the, uh, on the clip. And although it's not the top brand, it's generally a pretty good pen. So I open it up, and lo and behold, there is a 14 karat gold nib. So I asked the lady, how much does she want for the pen? She said 10 bucks. I said, sorry about that. I said, 10 bucks is too much. Uh, would you take five? And immediately again, she said yes. So right now I'm up to 18 plus five, $23. And uh, I go outside and I notice there's a box of uh, plated silverware for 25 cents a piece. So I start looking through it, not really expecting to find much, but on the off chance. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six items for a quarter a piece. Check it out. Sterling. Sterling. This one's unmarked, but uh, I know this style and it's very, very frequently it's sterling. And I tested it and it was indeed and finally sterling. This one had some interesting markings on the, on the spoon like face, um, but I realize now uh, that it's not uh, actually sterling, but for a quarter it was worth the risk. This knife, it's gonna be tough to see, but it says sterling handle. So I got all of this stuff at 25 cents a piece, $1.50. Uh, so add that to the $24, I got $25.50 for the, the uh, pen and all this silverware, but I only realized after I left that they did the math wrong and they only charged me $19.50. So for $19.50, I got 150 grams of silver, not including the knife, and a couple grams of gold. And uh, I can't tell you that I am disappointed in that. That is fantastic. So at the next place, I wasn't quite as lucky, and I only got these three bracelets. Um, I paid five bucks for the three of them together. The real one that I wanted was the middle one. It's this sterling with gold plating and opals. Um, 
it's okay looks wise I'll probably scrap it in the end unless somebody's interested uh, I'm not even gonna list it on eBay if one of you guys is interested in it I'll sell it otherwise I'm gonna scrap it um, I got this evil eye bracelet that's got a uh, sterling around the edges and a sterling uh, clasp and this one just had a sterling clasp, so I figured I would get uh, these were this was marked uh, four dollars anyway. I figured I'd get the other two for fifty cents, and I was right. So it was five bucks altogether. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Nothing special, but worth it. Next, went on to another sale. All they had was this one thimble. Um, it was just a regular uh, sterling silver thimble. They were asking a quarter, so I was very happy to take it off their hands. Now, the best thing that I got, uh, maybe not the best deal, but the best items, were these five items. I actually got it for the, from the same person as the pe person I bought the coins from, which I'll show you later, but it's all Tiffany stuff. First is this Tiffany & Co, as you can see. Tiffany & Co, the creme de la creme of, uh, of mass-produced jewelry. And this is an open heart key ring and it says sterling tiffany and co it's pretty tarnished but uh... you know it's a relatively nice piece uh... It weighs ten grams about a little under that and uh... i got that and these four pens for fifty bucks Now, silver wise it's not the best deal but the fact that it's all tiffany makes it worth it and in addition to that i certainly made my money on the coins that i bought from her so the first pen I got, I got these two pens. I don't know much about them. I haven't really done too much research. One of them is really, really long, as you can see, compared to the rest of them. They don't have any discerning marks except that they say Sterling, Sterling, and uh, they say Tiffany & Co. on the other side. Um, let me see if I can find that for you. Yeah, Tiffany. Now, this one is the famous T-clip pen. It's got a T-shape for the clip. It is like one of the, you know, paradigm pens of, uh, of Tiffany & Co. And I've got two of those. And the other two are just, this one has a stainless steel clip. And this one is, has no clip and is just incredibly long. Uh, if anybody knows any information about these, please let me know. But otherwise, um, basically I paid 10 bucks a pen and 10 bucks for the heart ring. So I basically paid the silver value. Uh, I paid a little under it, um, but uh, I'm very happy with that because I know minimum I can get like 30 bucks for each of the T-clip pens, probably like 20 bucks for each of the Tiff the other Tiffany pens, 20 bucks for this, um, and that's a minimum. I, the the T-clip pens might actually go for more. I know they retail new for about $200. So I'm looking to sell the Tiffany stuff if anybody's interested. Um, all this stuff actually that you see in the video is for sale uh, so if you're interested just PM me an offer and we can discuss from there so with that I'm going to move on to the coins in the next video so I hope for all of you scrap lovers out there uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you still stay tuned for part two because uh, you might learn something maybe you'll get interested in buying coins as silver or numismatically whatever you're interested in but anyway with that I hope you enjoyed and silver picker out